What is up, beautiful people? Welcome once again to HN Clothing. Welcome to another wonderful video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this structured sleeve. One of the sleeves we're using purely bones, and the second one we're using purely crinoline. Everything is going to be well detailed, all the dimensions needed, the yardage, and every single sewing process to achieve this sleeve in your design. So if this is something you are interested in seeing, please do keep on watching and let's dive right into the video. For this other part, I have these fabrics that we're going to be using. I have them in pair, the main fabric and then the lining piece, the main fabric and then the lining piece. So I'm going to tell you the measurements I have right on here. We're starting with this first. Um, I have 30 inches long and 10 inches wide, okay? Now, what we're going to do is get, cut the lining and the main fabric 30 inches long and 10 inches wide. You can even make it longer if you want to have this kind of structure. And then you're going to get your hard stay this is the stay i'm going to be using it's paper stay i have here but please use a hard stay so that it doesn't fall however even with this technique it's not still going to fall so you take the two stays that you have um hard stay is what you should use and then you want to sew the two edge here and here and then sew channels let me explain what i mean so when i place it together I'm going to sew the edges close, the normal um, quarter inch or half inch, whatever sewing allowance you're going to use. You sew the two edges close. And then I'm going to sew smaller channels in between where I can pass my bones through. Okay, sew smaller channels in between where I can pass my bones through. Okay, so I could have just three channels, one, two, three, where bones can put, fit in through. The bones I'm going to be using, you can decide to use your plastic bone. This is um, 5 cm plastic bone. There is 7 cm wider than this. You can decide to use your plastic bone or use your regulating bone. This is how the regulating bone looks like. You just pass it through the channels to make the stay stand of which you then sew the lining on top so let me close it up sew channels and i'll come back to show you how to put in the bones Okay, so I've sewn the two sides closed. Now I want to create channels where I can pass my bones through. Your channel should be wide enough to allow the bones to pass through them. Channel one ready. We saw another channel and then the third channel. Beautiful. So we have them ready. Let me start putting in the bones. Okay, so you are going to measure the size of your channel. Measure the size of whatever you have cut and then place your bones, fitting the bones through the channel. So in this case, put in my bones. So you see it's already taking shape, right? It's already taking shape. What we're going to do is the Ankara has to be on this part that is out here. 
like this uh the ankara needs to be here and then the lining will be on this side so i'm going to place the right side on it this way like put the right side and then just baste the ankara to this um stay So I can then put the right side of the lining on the right side of this uh, main fabric so that I will be able to turn it inside out. okay so we can already let's just push this um bones out of the way and finish up one side of this so what we can actually do is remove this and put it back when we have turned it inside out so that is easy since we have used it to measure what we're actually turning is this one, the lining. Put your hand in between the Ankara and the lining. That's what we're turning, not everything. Okay, so this is how it is. So make sure you use your hard stay. I used paper stay here. And it's still even giving what you should give okay um this way this um using the stay to sew the channels will make sure that both on the lining and on the main fabric you cannot see any form of joining right it's it's not you can't even see anything at all everything will be properly enclosed now you can iron properly so that it stays put once you've ironed it everything is looking good you are pushed this as well you have pushed the corners out you can use the needle or your pin to do that just push out the corners once you've done all of that then you can get your since you are, you can still see the channels the channels are still there you can get your bonings and just slot it in remember this is the natural way the bones curve so you're going to be putting the bones this way to curve and push the ankara out okay so for more structure or more stands you can actually put um you can actually double the bones see this way now no stitch line here see here no stitch line here and you still have a very rounded beautiful curve okay so i will cut the excess bones off properly turn this inside and finish off this okay let's do that okay so this is ready let us move to the next method or the next technique on how to achieve another design of a structured sleeve using crinoline not boning we'll be using crinoline for that one all right so for method two we are going to be using just a stay hard stay and crinoline okay so i have gone ahead to iron this up this is the shape we are doing for the second style where it is narrowed towards the end and wider right here in the middle so because i'm using paper stay you know paper stay is that transparent one because i'm using paper stay i have already used the stay to iron the lining part of the fabric 
this one is the main fabric this one is the lining piece you can iron both okay because this is what i have available but you can go ahead to use color say something more sturdy let me tell you the dimensions i have the length is 35 and a half inches long and the widest part that's the middle part seven and a half inches long and then the ends five inches wide so the widest part seven and a half inches wide and the ends five inches wide okay so now that we have this we have our um stay we are going to then get the crinoline that we're going to be using we are cutting it to the length of this cut the crinoline to this length right so I'll open it up a place just use it to measure the length um okay so i'll cut like three of this with three of it so here we're going to get this crinoline and start sewing it on this layer this first one you sew it to the edge palm to stay put the second one you're going to join these two together palm to stay put and then the last one will be at the other edge to stay put so let's go to the sewing machine so so this crinolines to stay put then put this so that we can turn it to the right side like finish it up neatly let's do that quickly So for the second one i will move this out of the way and just sew the crinoline together so here is what we are having um once you've done this, what we're going to do now is to take our uh, the main fabric and then put it so that we can finish it off. Okay, just place it and baste it on the sides. okay so if you also want to still give it more stance and structure create another channel here make a channel so that you can put bones on that two parts so let's just turn it inside out now So I need to finish here as well. So after you've turned it in, make sure you um try to arrange the crinoline well again and then you should iron this properly so that it's not puffy so that it's staying put push this area out so once this has been done 
iron to stay and then okay so let us apply and see how it looks like let's iron first then apply to see how it looks like so we have come to the end of this tutorial guys i am totally in love with this creation now you see it's not as difficult as it looks in pictures with this simple tips and tricks you can try your hands out on this and glam up your ashore b style till we see the next tutorial stay safe god bless you all bye